In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our accordion widget. So the widget is already installed and I've dragged it here to our workspace. So I'm going to open the options so you can see what you can find here. So I'm going to click on the blue arrow to display the options. So you can change the title color, the title background color. So you see now it's a blue color, so I'm just going to switch it to any, to any other color. Let's choose this pink. Okay and the title background opacity you can change the size so now it's 14 and maybe now let's put uh, let's say it's a 20 and you can choose the padding too and the title font okay you have a big list over here you can do the same with the description color and the description background color so I'm gonna change the, the description background color to let's say Mm, okay, this orange. You won't see it now because you will see it when when you click on the tab so it opens. So when I preview it, you'll see how the, the color has changed. And same thing here. You can change the opacity, the, the description size, and the padding, and also you can choose a different font. So I'm going to choose another font here so you can see how it changes. Okay, I'm going to choose a font guard. You can also change the color of the title icons color and the description uh, icons color. So the title icons color are these here. And the description icons color, you'll also view it once the tab opens. So when we preview it, you'll see what, I, what I'm talking about. So these are the main settings. And a part of this, you can see the content. So here's where, what, where you're going to write what you want to want, what you want it to appear in the tab. So uh, so far we have just one the title and then we have some Latin text over here and as an example we we put some icon icons here the name of the icons and we can find this in in font awesome so let's see for example we're going to change the first title icon right now it's called plus circle but let's see I'm, I'm going to font awesome and it's going to let's check uh, for example this bar chart okay so this is the name that you have to copy and paste in your widget so let's go back let's go back to the content and place it here in title icon one so first it's circle now I mean now it's circle and now it should change to chart all right see how the icon has changed and the other thing that you can do is you can place as many widgets accordion widgets as you want per page so just imagine this widget has 10 up to 10 tabs but what if you want to place 15 or you want to place 20 so the only thing you have to do is copy and paste the accordion and just place it below okay so now I'm going to preview it okay See? So you see how it's title 10 and then it goes back to title 1. So let's open. Remember I told you about the color? Well, the color has changed now. So see when you open one tab, everything goes down. So I'm going to open title 10. So see how title 1 and the rest of the, of the, of the tabs will go down too. See? If you want to close the tab, you have to click back. So it will close. So the thing is that if you don't want 20 and you want 15, so the only thing you have to do is leave the tabs that you don't need, you have to just leave them empty. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete until tab 6. Okay, you should just delete it all. Number 8. Okay, almost done, and here. You can even see in your workspace how it, it would disappear. So let's preview this again, and see until title 5. Remember, the icons, you have to go to Font, uh, font Awesome and find the icon that you're interested in, and then copy the name and place it back here. This widget is resizable, so the only thing you have to do is 
resize it to stretch to the browser's width. Do the same with the one below. And it will adapt. Let's preview this again. Okay, so this is it. And I'm gonna make it smaller. And as you see, it adapts to the browser width.